Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be making vanilla yogurt. So I'm going to be using an easy yo yogurt maker. You can use other methods but that's the one that I'm using today. We're going to need a saucepan, a whisk, measuring cup, a candy thermometer and a few spoons. So to make yogurt you're going to need yogurt. I know it sounds crazy but you're going to need a starter culture for the bacteria to grow. Put one litre of full cream milk into a saucepan. Now we're going to put on the stove and heat it up to 97 degrees, just before boiling point. Keep stirring it to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom, otherwise you're going to get clumps of milk at the bottom of the saucepan and when you stir it, it's going to make lumpy yogurt and no one wants a lumpy yogurt. You know how I said before boiling point? Yeah, don't do this. Now we're gonna cool it down to 37 degrees. You can do this on the bench, but I like to do it in the sink with some ice packs to speed up the process. To make vanilla yogurt, we need to add vanilla. This is homemade vanilla, but the shop one is just as fun. If you'd like to know how to make vanilla extract at home, let me know in the comments section below. Check out my sick measuring skills, guys. I like to add the sugar while the milk is still warm and give it a good mix to dissolve it through. You can add as much sugar as you like. I find about two tablespoons worth is just enough for mine. Now I'm gonna add my thermometer so I can keep an eye on the temperature until it gets just under 40 degrees. We want to add our yogurt starter at 37 degrees, but no more than 40 degrees or it will kill the culture. Now I'm going to add the boiling water to my thermos and pop the lid on to make sure it stays nice and hot while I pour my yogurt into my pot. You want to make sure you fill the yogurt all the way to the top of the pot the Easy Yo fits exactly one litre. Just pop it in the thermos and put your lid on. Now you want to leave it for about 8 to 12 hours out on the bench top. After that you can pop it in the fridge. And now it's ready to eat. Here it is. Just adding some homemade granola and some blueberries to make this even more delicious. Yeah. 